G'day, my name's Major Damage, and I'm here to review and test this STD AK47 Gen 2. Uh, this is the box it comes in, the usual things in there, the instructions are quite good, it's in Chinese and also in English, and it's easy to follow and it's pretty well done. Um, the first thing you notice when you look at this blaster, it is really well built, it's solid as, quality's there, um, and you pick it up and it's, it's really weighty, it's, it's really nice to feel and pick up something that, that feels this weight. Uh, this, the butt stock, it has three uh, positions, it comes right off. It's, uh, it's got a bit of weight and it's really solid, you're not going to break it. It has a rubber pad here on the butt. It's a hard rubber, um, but it is rubber. The, the barrel, this comes off and it's, it's solid. There's no battery in there. It has a lot of weight to it and it feels really good. Uh, moving up, we have the, the switch here. Is there's, there's no safety on it, but there is a the semi and full auto. It works really, really well, but uh, it doesn't actually click into anything. It sort of slides over these little cutouts here, but it, but it, you know it selects it really nicely anyway. So you don't have to worry too much about that. Um, the magazine, it it it's got a great big, nice big filler hole here. It's a lot of gels in and for an AK it clicks in really nicely. Um, the bolt slide is the mag prime which um, is really really good thing to have. Uh, this is your on off switch here. Uh, up, moving up here we have this is where the battery is under the foregrip. So for changing, it's as quick as anything. It's quick, and there's so much room in here. They give you 11.1 volt uh, battery, which is really good, but it's tiny and it, it it doesn't last that long. So, but the idea of here, look, so much room. You could have the spare battery laying in there for gaming, um, or if you have to change, it's super quick. There is a, a red aluminium barrel. It's really nice. Uh, so that's that's a great thing. Quick and easy. What else have we got here? Um, this this thing really shoulders nicely. Comes straight up and really shoulders well. And also, like in all the movies with the bad guys, it fires really well from the hip. So if anyone that uses a bad guy is, has an AK-47, this is how they shoot, obviously, in the movies. Um, all right. So from here, I'm going to uh, test it on the range. And then after that, uh, give it a scoring of an out-of-box scoring. So next to the range. Okay, so the battery's all charged up, fresh gels in the mag, um, and the, the blaster's in a sophisticated high-tech holder here. So that's um, just to make sure everything is consistent over the board without any human error, so to speak. Uh, this test is for um, 20 meter shooting, flat shooting. See how it performs at 20 meters. Uh, the rangefinder has got us exactly 20 meters from a target out there, and um, the blaster is lined the same height, and we're 20 meters exactly away. Uh, it's got seven to eight mil gels in it. I use the same gels for every test, or the same brand, not the same ones. Uh, so it's get a consistent across the board go. All right, so we'll try now uh, semi-auto. So semi-auto, we'll switch her on and prime the mag. That's it. Right on. So now we'll see how this goes. Okay, get the target up there. 
low and right. Low. Bottom of target. Low. 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 Right, that was uh, just a little below the white circle. Right on. Just below the white circle. Right in the middle of the white circle. Low. Low. Right. Hit the white circle. So it's like every fourth shot hits the circle and the others are going low and left and right. A little better on uh, quick firing. Okay, so we'll give her a burst on uh, full auto now. So flicking the full auto. Let's see how it goes. Much, much better on full auto. Uh, quite a consistent hitting on it then and nice and straight. Uh, gotta love the sound of that gearbox and the 11 volt straight out of the box. It's nice. Okay. So, performed really well. Okay, so it comes standard with this hop up which slips into the end of the barrel. Uh, there we go. You see it there? Okay, we'll just um, pull the flash lighter off. And this goes into here like this. I think it goes that way. Yep, so now it's, uh, it's pushed all the way in. It's nice and flush. Uh, we'll see how, what it does. Right, we'll see how this performs with this hop up in the end of the barrel. Right, we're on Sammy. Now zoom in a bit, let's see what happens. I hit the grass. Broken, broken out of the barrel. Broken. Whoa, that went over the over the target to the left and over the fence. Sorry. Just above the circle. Oh. So more than half of them are coming out broken. Just check the end of it again. It sort of it slid out uh, by a half a mil or a mil. Not fully locking in there. Just give it another bit of a go. It's sort of it's, it's super inconsistent. More than half a breaking. Wow. Well, that's sort of just going everywhere so I'm not sure on that so that that target out there is set exactly 15 meters away the circle in the middle is uh, just under 200 mil in diameter uh, okay so pick her on I'll try semi auto first some single shots That's beautiful. Okay, next I'll uh, do a bit of rapid semi. Uh, 
Okay, well, virtually all in. Uh, we'll give it a bit of a squirt now on full auto. That's pretty good. Not bad at all. Pretty accurate on the 15 meter. Semi and full auto. Sometimes with this thing uh, on semi, it's not so crash hot, but that was really good. Really likes those gels. Okay, so we'll put this on the chrono now. Okay, on semi auto. Okay, so I guess uh, that's not too bad at all. I guess you'd call that 235, a bit more even. So that's pretty good. Right, oh, now we'll have a look at uh, how many, the rate of fire, how many rounds a second. Let's get that tuned in there for a second. Put on full auto, we'll give it a burst. got 16.9 rounds a second so that's that's pretty good that's uh, that's hammering also on full auto the average was 232 feet per second okay so we've done some tests and uh, it's time to give it an out-of-box scoring but before we do that I'd just like to um, let you know that during the use I had a few few problems sometimes with the mag priming and uh, misfiring and what I noticed was the the magazine's got some play in it like that so I um, it was quite simple I just I looked at the springs and they seem to be sitting in a bit too far so I just got some long nose pliers and um, give them a little stretch just gently give them a stretch and it's been zero problems ever, ever since it's been really good uh, also managed to get some black mags for this and it looks looks really sweet with those in beautiful down the track I'll, um, I'll probably paint this or cover it in some wrap or something like that uh, to give it a bit more softer feel uh, also with the battery the one they give you it's good being 11 volt but it doesn't last too long um, so I, I went to the local RC hobby shop <clears throat> and um, I scored a battery which is exactly double the size as the one they give you. So it's twice the size and it's, it's a true um, amperage of what it says on there. It's a good quality one and it's only $21. And, um, and I, I got the, I put that on which is, fits the adapter that's in there. So you've got 18 mil to play with, okay? And that slips in there just fine. Okay, so 18 mil, you've got plenty of length, but only 18 mil wide to get a battery in there. Um, so that's about it. So we'll get on to um, scoring it. Okay, so it's time to score. Give it another out-of-box scoring. And we have... We have uh, six categories, fill quality, accuracy, distance, feet per section, rate of fire and performance. Each one of these categories is out of five, so being uh, the top, top perfect score being 30. So okay, so build quality first, uh, out of five I give that a four. 
Next, accuracy. So that was that 15 meter shooting. And I give that a 3.75 out of five. Next is distance. So that being distance was flat shooting test at 20 meters. Uh, not so much the accuracy, but just how it made 20 meters um, uh, flat, dead, dead straight. And um, that sort of let us down a fair bit, so I give that a 3. The feet per second, I give that a 3.5. Maybe could have even had to take more because it was pretty good. You know, it was hitting 240 just over, um, so that's not too bad. Rate of fire. I give that a four, a great rate of fire, really belting them out. And performance, uh, being all switches, gearbox, um, just overall general, uh, I give that a four. It was really nice to play with. Okay, so now we'll, uh, we'll see where it rates on the board. Righto, so with a score of 22.25 out of 30 we'll see where it rates on the board uh, where it stands out of box rating okay all right we'll start down the bottom here where are we come up come up come up oh well it's actually number one spot because uh, it's the first one we've rated so it's enjoying that spot for the moment righto so Okay, so um, let us know what you think. Should have it scored more? Should have it scored less? Um, also, if you guys know of any any mods for it, um, well, I've chased around a bit and there's nothing out yet. Um, so all I'm going to do is I'll work out a hop up for it, and I think that'll fix a lot of problems with its shooting. But other than that, it's a very sweet blaster. Um, so anyway, this is major damage signing off uh, until next time behave responsibly and remember charlie don't serve